Hello, here is Shybike. Two worst and four best upgrades on your budget road bike. Dear viewers, I've learned quite a lot about you because you've been asking me same questions over and over again. One of these is how can I upgrade my road bike? Uh, but you're being also more specific in those questions so that I know what would be the most common upgrades here. But I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. What I'm trying to do here is to say that upgrade, at least for myself, means improvement. And stay with me as I'm gonna try to save your money. So are you ready? Two worst upgrades first. Number one. One of the most common questions from you is, Dan, everybody now is running the 11 speed cassette. How can I upgrade my, bi my bike from 2x9 to 2x11? My answer, don't bother, pay attention, we're talking about budget road bikes, right? Because once you wanna do it, you start asking questions. Uh, can I leave my chain? Can I just keep my crankset? Can I keep my rear derailleur? Don't bother. Two by nine is just enough. If you are living in the hilly terrain, if you like to do some really mountainous uphills, just focus on the range of your cassette, on the number of the teeth on your crankset and don't really bother because changing from two by nine, two by eight maybe even, into 2x10, 2x11 means replacing many parts on your bike. It doesn't really uh, pay off here. 2x9 is just enough. You can even go for some criteriums uh, with this drivetrain, drive no problem. So this is what I think as shy bike, don't bother. Second worst upgrade on a budget bike is either lighter or more aero wheels. I would say don't bother uh, once more. Uh, let's just say something that budget bikes, maybe for you guys in the US, you would say that would be to up to what? $800 here in Poland, that would be up to maybe $500. But anyway, if you have a bike that would cost just around, okay, let's say 700 bucks, right? And you wanna improve or upgrade uh, your wheels, these wheels on the budget bike would be worth maybe $100 and you want to spend, what, $300? You are saving maybe 200 grams on the weight. Uh, these wheels will be still budget wheels and you are spending half, almost half of the price of the bike only on the wheels. Whereas you can really improve something on your bike, all right? So my opinion, don't bother with some lighter or more aero wheels, just leave it until you replace your bike uh, because you are cut three, cut two, cut one, and then you will think about some aero wheels, all right? That's my opinion. Now, five best upgrades and all will be under $100. Number one is the saddle. I would not even call it uh, a, an upgrade. I would say this is a must. The saddle on the bike is like your clothing, more even like underwear. It has to fit your butt because if you've been riding for, for some weeks and you still have some soreness uh, on, your, on your butt, replace the saddle. Find the better saddle and um, I'm showing you just below the video some links to some of the parts I would recommend considering for under, under $100. So you don't need uh, titanium rails, uh, carbon rails. You will just need the good shape and, and durability of uh, good quality saddles. So that's the upgrade number one. Upgrade number two is something that I wouldn't bother just uh, if I purchased a new bike, but that would be housings and cables, both for the shifting and for the braking. By replacing your housings into better ones and cables as well, you are improving your shifting. The shifting changes a lot. So if you have a new bike, replace your saddle, find the right saddle. Maybe this one will be good for you, but normally I would replace the saddle. Leave the housings until they get dirty or they ju just wear out. And then buy a high quality housings and cables. These cables on this bike, for example, this is a budget bike, 
are already coated, so good quality, and have also some additional um, sealant seals, which is really really good. So if you have, if you don't have this, don't replace the housing and the cable just on the new bike. Maybe try to purchase an, uh, just additional um, seals, and those ferrules with the nose and some some rubber seal inside, also here would be really good upgrade on your bike. Uh, it really does have uh, impact uh, the, on the shifting and the braking, okay? So, saddle, cables and housings. Number three, if you feel like you are lacking braking power, don't simply replace your brakes. Start by replacing uh, the, uh, the braking pads. Maybe, maybe you have some calipers model that many people complain about, then you can try to buy like Sora, Tiagra or just other brands, um, budget um, calipers. But those pads, those are not really expensive. So you can just let yourself experimenting a little bit, maybe buying a little bit uh, wider ones, different compounds. So you will also find some in the links um, below this video. If you, but that's only if you lack a braking power. If you don't like it, don't bother as well, because there will be nothing to improve really. Uh, so that would be upgrade number three. Upgrade number four, super important one, really improves your, your bike, is the crankset. On 99.9% .9 of the budget bikes, you would either have a square tapered or so-called octalink um, uh, crankset. That means you have a spindle and you have right arm with the chain rings and the left arm. And that means you, you're not really getting a stiff and strong system. All right, so those cheapest uh, bikes still run like really old fashioned stuff. I don't know really why, because for way under $100, uh, under $100 you can buy, for example, Shimano Sora two piece crankset. That means the spindle uh, makes one unit with the right arm and it's way, way stiffer. Another advantage of the two piece designs is also that the bearings that are here inside are wider so these are spaced uh, wider so the whole system will be stronger and should be also more durable look at and hear what's happening here can you hear that's what lack of stiffness means uh, this system isn't re really precise enough because um, I'm not really uh, crossing the chain a lot, but it would touch the front derailleur only in one position of the crankset. That means the crankset isn't super, you know, uh, precisely um, spaced in, in the bike, and replacing it with uh, replacing it with the two-piece system would be a great, great uh, advantage for yourself. So you are not maybe saving a lot of uh, lots of grams buying like Sora or Tiagra uh, crank, crank set but you are improving the stiffness you will find yourself trimming the front derailleur way less than you have to on the octaling or uh, square tapered so once you get more power in your legs you will feel that octaling and square tapered isn't really uh, stiff I would also recommend other brands like SRAM, SRAM Apex or Campagnolo. Campagnolo Potenza would be the cheapest one with the two-piece uh, system, but these are much more expensive. That's why I'm talking about Shimano Sora, the newest one, M3000, and um, Shimano Tiagra. So two-piece design here will, will be really, really good. Dear viewers, that's uh, what I really think, having the right saddle, having uh, really smooth shifting and good braking and finally stiff bottom bracket area this is really important part that really improves your rides that's something you can do on your budget bike if you have something more expensive and you are already getting into cat 3 cat 2 cat 1 you know a lot about bikes probably i will do those videos later what do you think about upgrades what would you add to this 
let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next episode. See ya!